Hey guys, welcome to the 111th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to edit XML documents. So for this tutorial, you're going to need to have an open button, a save button, uh, a name text box, an age integer input, and uh, an email text box. So once you have that on your form, just go ahead and double click on the open button. So for this tutorial, you're also going to need to have an XML document created up here so that we can use uh, this xdoc or this XML document all over in all the methods in our class right here so that when we save it or go to save it, we can access this XML document. Also have a path up here so that we can uh, access this path when we're saving as well. And just like before, have an open file dialog, a filter on that open file dialog, Make sure the user actually selects a file in the open file dialog. All right, and set the path or that string path equal to the open file dialog's file name or the path to the file that the user opened in the open file dialog so we can use this path in other places. Then set that X document or xdoc equal to a new XML document so we can tell the compiler what xdoc is. Um, and then load that XML document. And then here we're just setting text box one's text equal to the person's name. Then we're setting the numeric up down value equal to the person's age. And then we're just setting the text box's text equal to the person's email. So we already went over this reading stuff before. So when we debug here, it should just read all the information just like before. Yep, fine. Now we're going to go to save it. So just double click on the save button. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is set these values so this inner text equal to something else. So we're going to say this, we're just going to copy that and then paste it down here. And we're going to set that equal to textbox one's text. So when we go to edit it or change it, we're just going to set it equal to textbox one's text. So if we make a change to it, change it to like Bob or something, it'll change the actual text of the uh, inner text of the node to whatever we change it to. And we're just going to do the same for the person's age. So we're just going to set this to, uh, equal to uh, numeric up downs uh, value. And we're going to convert this right here to a string because this calls for a string. And finally, we're going to save the person's email. And we're just going to set this equal to textbox three's text. All right, so we can't just leave it at this. This will not save it. We have to use the save method. So we're going to have to do xdoc.save. And this save method calls for um, the path to the file that we want to save. So that's why we had to create a path up here. So now we can use the path to the file all over. So we need to use it over here. So now we can just type in path. And now this should say save it fine. So now we debug here, open that XML document. We read everything fine. We want to change this to like Bob, change the age to like 103 or something, 100. Change the email to anything at any website.com. Save it, and it should save it for us. So now if we go back to Notepad++, it says it's been edited. So let's reload it. We get Bob, 100, and at gmail.com. And now our uh, program should read it perfectly fine. Yep, exactly what we set it to. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on editing XML documents. So see you guys.